Hi, good morning, guys. How is everyone today? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. I just wanted to come on a few moments and speak to you guys uh, about an encouraging word that the Lord dropped in my spirit. And I truly believe that he wants me to share that with you this morning. I know um, that there's a lot going on throughout this world. There's a lot going on in our lives, in our homes, within our families. Um, we go through a whole lot uh, as people and even more seem like as believers because we know that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. So a lot of times we can find ourselves being bombarded um, through spiritual warfare in this world. But I want you to know today that God gave me a word to give to you this morning. Those of you who may be listening to me right now, who may be discouraged, who may be going through, who may not know exactly what you need to do next. I want you to know that God has a word for you this morning. And he wanted me to let you know that he is wrapping you up. God says, I'm the one that's wrapping you up. As I was praying and I began to worship God this morning, he began to drop that word in my spirit. He says, I'm wrapping you up. And then I heard him very clearly when he said to me, he said, and we're going to go to Psalms, the 34th chapter. And we're going to begin at the 15th verse. 15th verse. And that's where we're going to start it this morning. And it, and it reads, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord against them that do evil and cut off remembrance of them from the earth. The 17th verse starts, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart or a broken spirit and saveth such with a contrite spirit. 19th is our focus verse. And I, I could hear the Lord clearer than ever this morning when he spoke this word into my spirit. He said, Shanina, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but I, I am your Lord and I am able, I am capable, I am willing to deliver you from them all. So as I begin to meditate on that and think about it, God said, I want you to give that word to someone this morning. Someone is going through, someone is um, not knowing what they're going to do next, but I want you to tell them that many are their afflictions. Many are their afflictions, but I am able to deliver them out of all of them. So let's just break down that. We want to start at the 17th verse and we want to um, just look at that for a few moments. It says the righteous cry. If you are righteous and we know that we have been adopted into the royal priesthood, if you have accepted Christ as your personal savior, you are now heir and join heir with Jesus Christ. He has set you aside. You are chosen. You are royal priesthood. You are peculiar people. We know that he said we can come to him and we can cry out by father. So the Bible is telling us here, the word of God in Psalms 34 and 17, that the righteous cry and the Lord heareth. That's right. God heareth us. Not only do he hear us, the word of God say he deliver us. You know, a lot of times you could be talking to people and your mouth, uh, their mouth is moving, but you're really not hearing anything they're saying. Well, that's not God. God said the righteous cry and the Lord heareth. And not only will he prove to you that he heard you, how he's going to prove that is it, it says, and he shall deliver them out of all their troubles. That lets us know that we're not going to have just one trouble. We're not going to have two or three uh, problems or situations or circumstances that occur. It says he shall deliver us out of all of our troubles. There is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing that he can't do. There is no problem that you can find yourself being faced with. But why? Because there, the Bible says there is Solomon said there's nothing new under the sun. We know that Jesus was tempted at every side and, and he we have a high priest, in other words, that can bear with our infirmities. He know exactly what it is that we are going through. And he's more than willing and able to deliver you out of all your troubles. So all you have to do is cry to the Lord. You are the righteous. You better begin to cry out to God. In the 18th verse, it said, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. What does that mean? The word nigh. It says the Lord is a short distance away. The Lord said in his word that he said, 
I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, Lo, I am with you even until the ends of the world. So he's right there with us. He's never going to leave us or forsake us. He's nigh thee. The Bible tells us that he is our father. He is our deliverer. He's the strong tower that we, the righteous, can run in and be saved. I just want to encourage your hearts today. Is that okay? I just want to encourage someone today that's going through. And you know exactly who you are. You, When you hear this word, it says that the, the spirit of the Lord is going to quicken your spirit. It's going to begin to uh, come in agreement. The word begins to come into agreement with our spirit. And immediately that rhema word is quickening and awakening you. And it is what you need. For his word is a lamp unto our feet and a lamp unto our pathway. It is bread that we need. So he says, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. We know what it is to have a broken heart. Many times in, in this world, in this life, we are faced with circumstances. We are faced with situations and, and things come and things go that causes our heart to be broken. Not only just our heart, but sometimes we suffer um, soul hurts and, and soul wounds that it takes the grace of God to bring us through. He said, but I'm nigh unto them with a broken heart. I know you feel like you're all alone. I know you feel like there's no one uh, with you standing and you feel isolated. You may feel like David. When David said, that, I feel like, but why have you cast me off? The Lord has not cast you off. He has not left you. For he promised us that he would never leave us. But he said, I am nigh unto you. He said, all you have to do is draw nigh unto me. All you have to do, if you are the righteous, just cry out. If you cry out, he can hear your cry. And not only will he hear you, he will deliver you from everything you're dealing with. He goes on to say in the word, in, in uh, verse 18, it says, And he saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. What does that mean, he saveth such as be with a contrite spirit? Not only is he nigh to you when your heart is broken, but he has the ability to be able to save you if you have guilt, if you have remorse, or if you are sorry for maybe bad decisions or bad choices. Because a lot of times, we can't blame everything on the devil. The truth of the matter is some things we get into ourselves, some things because of disobedience, we cause uh, problems to come upon ourselves because we did not pray and ask God to order our steps. We find ourselves out of step with the will of God for our lives. And when we do that, we find ourselves getting into trouble. But the Lord is saying that I'll save you. All you have to do is come to me and acknowledge and be remorseful for the things that you have done or what it is you're going through. And, and just trust me. Trust me. Then we get to our focus verse. And I'm not going to be here long. But this is the final verse. And it says, many are the affliction of the righteous. My God, many are the affliction. It didn't say one affliction. It says many are the affliction. When we begin to look up what affliction is, we know that affliction is something that causes pain or suffering. A lot of times we find ourselves going through a whole lot of pain and a whole lot of suffering. Maybe you sickness in your body or maybe you lost a loved one or maybe you're on a financial strain right now or maybe your husband or your wife walked out on you. Maybe your children are not acting right or doing right and they're causing you a lot of suffering and a a lot of pain. I want you to know the word of God is telling us that many are the affliction of the righteous. That lets us know we're going to go through some things, church. It rains on the just as well as the unjust. But the word of God is, te is telling us that the Lord, it is the Lord. It is not, it is, it is, it is the Lord uh, Yahweh. It is the Lord Elohim. It is the Lord uh, Jehovah Jireh, your provider. It is the Lord Jehovah Nisi. It is the Lord uh, Yahweh Shalom, your peace, that will deliver you out of all of them. He didn't say Buddha's going to deliver you. He didn't say Confucius could deliver you. He didn't say John Smith is going to deliver you. He didn't say any other idol or God or any other uh, thing that we go to to self-medicate or try to get us through the situations or the circumstances that we find ourselves in. None of those things would be able to deliver you. But he said the Lord will deliver him out of all of them. Not one of them, but all of them. So I just wanted to encourage your heart today to let you know that there is nothing too hard for God. Don't give up. Don't give up because many are our afflictions as righteous. All we have to do is cry to the Lord. And guess what? He hears you. 
and he will deliver you out of all your troubles. So right there where you are this morning, if you are going through, if you are suffering, if you are in pain, if you if you don't know what to do next, I want you to bow your heads and pray with me right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for this word. I thank you for this encouragement to your people. God, I ask that you would touch, that you would move right now on their hearts and their souls and their spirit. God, you see the pain. You see the suffering. God, some things we just have to go through, Father. But you said you would not leave us, Father, or forsake us. You haven't left us comforted. God, we have your Holy Spirit living on the inside of us, God. Not only that, God, you said you would deliver us. Not only will you deliver us, but you're nigh us, God. You're close to us. God, you're right here with us, oh God, to heal our broken hearts, oh Father, and to save those that are coming to you, God, and repenting of maybe the wrong that we've done or the wrong decisions that we made or or even if we didn't cause the things that come upon ourselves, oh God, we ask today, God, that you would touch that heart, touch that mind, touch that spirit. Let them know, God, that you are their comfort. God, let us speak life into ourselves. Let us not continue to speak death over our lives, saying that we're totally broken, oh Father. We're not broken, oh God. We are complete in you, God, for whom the sun set free is free indeed. If you are righteous in God, if you are his child, you have no right to say that you are broken because God has completed you. You are complete in him. And all of your affliction, all of your affliction, no matter what it is you're going through, the Lord, he is able. He has the power to deliver you out of all of them. I am Elder Shanina Walker. I want you to know, as always, I love you. Elder Michael Walker love you. But guess what? God will always love you more. Until the next time, I do pray that this word has encouraged your heart. Have a blessed day.